welcome back to another weekly vlog and welcome back to your favorite girl on the internet that's me by the way if you are new here my name is jasmine rosette and in these videos i document my weight loss journey i show you guys the ups and downs the ins and outs and the positives and the negatives of what it's like for me on my personal weight loss journey but before we get into this weekly vlog, I would ask that you would give this video a thumbs up if you like any part of this video, subscribe so you can keep up to date with me and all things that I am doing, and comment down below, say hi, I say hi back. And without any further ado, let's get into this week's vlog. So yeah, I am not working out this morning. It's about like 8 something like 805 or something like that I don't know um <laughs> I woke up really tired I woke up on time even a little bit before my alarm clock went off at 7 15 this morning and I was just tired so I just stayed in bed and slept a little bit more and then I woke up around 7 45 and scrolled on Instagram and then I got ready. I did like my skincare, put some earrings on, moisturized my scalp. And honestly, I'll talk about that a little bit with my hair. In the past, I have always just like worn braids and usually like two to three weeks in, it's way worse than this. This is the best that it's looked at this stage in me having braids in my hair and I attribute it to making sure that my scalp is moisturized morning like when I wake up and night when I'm about to go to sleep and I spray two different sprays and then I go in with an oil every now and then um, maybe like once or twice a week with an oil but every morning and night I spray my hair with these two different sprays and it's mainly just like focusing on my scalp and I haven't itched at all like if I itch it's because I'm thinking about it and I say it to someone else but I haven't really been itching my hair my scalp and I've just realized like oh yeah obviously like I know I have a dry scalp so just keeping it moisturized is going to prevent me from itching a lot and it's also going to prevent the hair from like coming out and getting as knotted I also washed my scalp this weekend um, to help like get rid of any buildup that's going on in there but yeah and I feel like that really is gonna like help with the breakage of the hair loss that I have experienced in the past so I'm hoping it's um, this new routine that I'm trying is better but also I know it's better because my scalp like feels better for the like just in general but also my hair looks great and we're on like week three or four or something like that like we're doing good things also i painted my nails i did this myself the side doesn't look as great <laughs> like the closer you get to it, it's like it's not perfect but i tried you can kind of see this one this side is a lot better but this one is not that great but Let's see yeah painted my nails um these are the only like two colors that i have i have like this nude color and i have this dark purple and just trying new things you know just trying new things i kind of want to get like nail like art brushes and stuff like that to like help um i'm gonna stick with just using those two colors because having more than that I found in the past is just it's just a lot and I just need to stick with two you know and use those up and then until I use them up then I'll buy some more because it's not like I paint my nails all the time but I'm trying to get into it as a form of self-care because it's just like you know something nice to do I'm taking care of it I'm watching my cuticles and all that stuff so just trying to take all these steps to making sure that I'm looking right feeling right during these times it's just all these little things that like add up to help me feel put together and coming correct during my days but anyway um 
yeah, I did not work out this morning. I am going to make myself a matcha latte, start off with a parfait, and go from there. That is gonna be my day. Um, I was looking back on a photo that I took earlier in the year last year, and you know, when I had gotten down to 200 pounds, I still felt like I still had my moments of like not feeling super great. But looking back, I'm like, I was so much smaller than what I currently am. Like I was so tiny compared to what I am now. 30 pounds is a lot. And that's a lot to lose. And I'm just like, you know what? I'm really motivated right now to just eat as clean as possible and get back there. Clean, healthy, just eat like foods that are a little bit better and more aligned to helping me lose weight and like watching my portions and stuff like that. This past weekend I did go a little crazy. I had oxtail and stuff like that as you guys saw. I forgot to show the empanadas um, but they had that on Sunday. So I had two empanadas on Sunday, beef. And I had the rest of my rice with oxtail and plantain. And I also had pretty much all of those ice cream bars and a bag of gummy worms from Black Forest. Because I'm really trying to like, if I know that there's a healthier alternative to gummies and like sweets and stuff like that, I'm trying to go for it. And Black Forest is like a lot better than a lot of other brands. They're a lot cleaner, a lot healthier than a lot of other brands. It's still candy, it's still sweets, but it's just like a better alternative. You're not getting as like all this fluff that's not really conducive to giving you the energy that you need type of situation. Although it's not like you really need gummy bears to give you like proper functionality <laughs> in your body, but I'm just trying to go for healthier alternatives. And I love gummy worms and I haven't had them in a really long time. And so I had them yesterday, a whole entire bag of the Black Forest gummy worms. They're really good. While I was watching this new show on Netflix called Behind Her Eyes, I haven't finished it yet, but like I'm about to, I only have like a couple of episodes. It's only, it's a series. It's a short series, I think six episodes. It's so good. It's so good. Um... But yeah, I had that along with all the ice cream bars the other day. I've had lots of tea. Probably going to have lots of tea today as well because I've been ending my nights with tea. I forgot to show that on Saturday that I had tea and I had an ice cream bar as well. So one ice cream bar and then yesterday I had the rest, the other three. And I also had a medium fry from McDonald's because you guys know that I've been craving it. I'm pretty sure that I stated I've been wanting McDonald's fries. I got it and it wasn't even salty. They didn't put any salt on those fries. But I was like, you know, it's fine. I have ketchup that has salt in it. So yeah, that was my wild weekend where I gave into all my cravings. Um, I think it just had to do with like hormones and stuff. Yeah. So I forgot to show that I had five more of those Thin Mints and that was it. But in other news, I am doing my taxes. Yay, adulting, doing your taxes. So that is what I'm doing currently right now. <laughs> I've been on my way up, now it's really far down I don't think I'll feel it when I hit the ground In October 
October, it feels like summertime I keep falling for you like every night Been communicating through satellites, yeah It's black and white I'm all up in the clouds when it's pouring rain Ain't never coming down unless you call my name Yeah, we should take it slow just like day by day Like day by day I'm all up in the clouds when it's pouring rain Ain't never coming down unless you call my name Yeah, we should take it slow just like day by day Like day by day
I went to my book club and I had some chips and salsa just like a handful of chips like honestly um, just pouring down some earthworm I think I'll do this for one more night um, it smells really good I'm just trying to fix my draining problem but yeah that is what I had tonight as my snack so today's been pretty light in terms of food
Brian Little. <laughs> we had a snowstorm I guess last night <laughs> because they're like the amount of snow that is on the ground is wild I like there's so much snow packed in behind my car that I would need a shovel fully to even be able to get out at this point. Like, I... It's unreal, the amount of snow. <laughs> Let me see if I can show you on my patio. On my patio, it's not really a thing. Let me see if I can show you in a different place. Okay, you can see it on, on this patio. I'll show you. That's so much snow. I'm just like floored with how much snow there is. I was not expecting that. Like I knew it was snowing last night, but I didn't know it was, girl, I didn't know it was gonna be like this. Um, so I'm not gonna go walk. I mean, I probably could, because it's just snow. It's like, it's not icy. That means tomorrow it's going to be way worse to walk. But it's really cold. And I don't want to. <laughs> well, let me see. Well, I can't anyway, because it's, it's a little bit too late now to do a walk and to do a workout. It's 7.45. Yeah, it's too late to go walk and work out. So I'm just going to do a quick workout that you guys will see and then start my day. I will have a matcha latte this morning because I need something hot. I need something hot, girl. I thought about having a smoothie today, 
And then I got out of bed and looked at this and I was just like, nope, there's no way. There's no way. It is time for a food haul. So, I got a bar of oatmeal cookie dough and some goat cheese, dairy free ice cream sandwich, got some ground turkey. I didn't get shrimp and I didn't get pesto because the pesto had, um, it had Parmesan and I can't have that. So, I decided I'm probably gonna make like maybe some burger patties or even some meatballs with this so yeah that is what i got got one thing of celery juice goat kefir you can you can see that kefir <laughs> um pomegranate juice i got lots of honey because honey is pretty expensive and i thought i would just get like a big one and i can just decant it into like a smaller container 
and uh, one thing of hard kombucha. I've got the blood orange mints. I do like this brand for their kombucha, the acai berry one I've had that you guys have seen is really good. So I go for something different. And I got just regular kombucha for immunity. Um, it has ginger, turmeric, and black pepper. I talked about that earlier about how the black pepper activates the turmeric and it's, you know, good for your gut. So just trying to do all the things to help with my gut. I got some granola and I looked at the ingredients. Where is it? Right here. And it has some pretty good stuff in there. And the tocopherols are just like vitamin E apparently. So yeah. It's a pretty clean brand, which is nice. I have eggs. I have a lot of bacon. I figured the bacon that I'm not using, it's like two different packs, I will freeze. And I got some fresh Brussels sprouts because I liked that they were roasted with the balsamic vinaigrette. So I'm going to have that again. Some more frozen vegetables, except I got like a different variety just to kind of switch it up, you know, the vegetables. I also got this Asian cashew top salad mix because I just wanted whoop, I just wanted to try it and it doesn't have any dairy in it so I thought that was great and then oh yeah got eggs I don't know if I mentioned that but I got a lot of eggs and the last but not least is the power greens I have been putting them with my meals towards the end of the day i've just been cooking them with the ground turkey and the other vegetables so i put like quite a few handfuls and obviously like with greens like this they kind of disintegrate into nothing essentially so yeah i like having this mixed with my vegetables so i'll probably mix it with these um i like having the brussels sprouts kind of on their own but yeah that is the food haul and everything that I got. So I'm gonna have some of my ice cream sandwich and then I'll let you guys know what's left of it because I'm gonna try to save it for the weekend. It smells so good. So I, <clears throat> so I left half, as you can see, I am putting it away as proof into the freezer. Let me turn on the light.
I am having the Asian cashew chopped salad. Ooh, sorry. And I've added a turkey burger to it. I'm probably going to do one more, honestly, because that one is a very small one. But it came with dressing. You can see all the toppings and the dressing there. I added it. I'm going to tuck into that. And I have two left. little squares of this. I'm going to add this one in here. And that is going to be my meal. So I looked back on the footage of me working out today and you can really tell that I gained so much weight back. It's honestly like, I just feel disappointed in myself looking back and seeing what I look like, like, I just, I don't want to be this size anymore, like, I just don't have that confidence seeing what I really look like. Taking a hard look in the mirror is just, it's difficult. It is a really difficult and hard thing to do. And looking back at that footage and seeing what I look like working out is kind of discouraging. Like I'm encouraged to lose the weight but I really have to put in the work. I can't, I don't like the way that I look. That's just the gist of it. Like I just feel discouraged looking at that and the fact that I gained all that weight. And yes, I understand last year I went through a lot I feel like I've mentioned it several times, like mentally, last year it was just, as I'm sure it was hard for everybody else, like mentally, I was exhausted and went through so much, so much mentally and emotionally and obviously physically as well. Um and spiritually like I I went through so much and I definitely did not share a lot because I was processing at the time and I'm still processing I'm still working through things mentally like it was hard and getting adjusted to a new way of life is difficult it's not an easy thing to do and I coped as best as I could even though I wasn't functioning the best in so many areas of my life I coped by eating a lot of food and eating what I enjoyed and trying to find joy in food by not restricting myself and restricting myself because I definitely did do that where I tried eating clean and then I would fail and still like end up gaining the weight and just say like, oh, I'm never gonna, you know? And now I'm just like, I really can't. Like this is like 230 is the heaviest that I will allow myself to be. Truly like that is the heaviest. And because I just feel so big and looking back I'm like I look so big I don't feel confident in the way that I look I feel discouraged I yeah like I just all of that kind of goes out the window so I'm glad that I'm getting back on track with budgeting to really help 
so that I'm not spending so much money on food and ice cream and snacks and fast food and stuff like that because honestly I cannot afford to do that I have debts that I gotta pay and I need to be mindful about that and yes I still want to enjoy food and have a better balance but like at the same time moderation is key and having ice cream every now and then is fine I feel like I'm getting to a point this past week I feel like I've gotten to a point where I feel good about the fact that my relationship with food is so much healthier I'm not like trying to deny or restrict myself like I still have ice cream it's just about moderation I still have chocolate like candy it's just in moderation and you know having foods that I enjoy like I plan on getting Chick-fil-A tomorrow um I am excited to enjoy that it's just about moderation like what I was doing this past year and I mean 2021 was eating healthy throughout the week losing six pounds and then gaining six pounds every weekend because I would eat out like two times too many and I would eat out a couple times on Saturday and then eat out a couple times on Sunday and just gain the weight back so quickly and I just need to eat out once and have my sweet treat and not do like multiple times a day two days in a row like I I have to have moderation and like watch my portions and stuff like that so that I can still enjoy the food just not overindulging myself and I feel like I'm just at a healthier space and a healthier relationship with food um, for myself and realizing that I, I shouldn't restrict myself from having ice cream and candy and all that stuff I just need to have moderation and like have smaller portions um and just not be super hard on myself but right now I'm disappointed and those feelings are valid and they're real and seeing how I look and what I look like it's not fun to look at yourself and be like yikes but you know I'm doing this for me I'm doing this so that I'm happy in the body that I have and happy in the way that I look and happy in the way that I present myself so me losing weight is for me and literally no one else like I have aesthetic goals for myself and I have fitness goals more importantly for myself I don't want to do a pistol squat for Jane and John over there I want to do a pistol squat so that I can feel strong because it's about me you know like this weight loss journey is about me and yeah I waited in line I got the Popeyes uh, I got a spicy chicken sandwich and fries with the root beer and I'm just gonna double check that my sandwich is good yeah it looks fine but I'm gonna eat it at home because I'm driving and I can't eat and drive and vlog at the same time so I'll check in with you guys later. I'm in my cozies. I'm going to tuck in to my Popeyes. Guys, I am so excited. They just threw the fries on the bottom of the bag, quite literally. You can see. But I haven't had Popeyes since I got it with my grandma. I think last year. First of all, I know I look crazy. I have a mask on. I'm using a Benonite powder clay mask that I mix with apple cider vinegar. And I just brush it on, including my neck, because I also get acne down there, just to clarify my skin. 
really clear, draw some things out, but it's really good. But I bought this Health Aid Plus Kombucha for immunity. So I'm going to have this while I work on my certifications and get them done. So that is the thing that I'm drinking. I'm trying to incorporate more things that help with gut health because that is important as you get older, even when you're younger, to start like focusing on gut health because it does affect your overall health. So kombucha has natural like probiotics in there along with like the kefir and like if you have sauerkraut or kimchi like that's really good for your gut health because it just has natural bacteria that is good for your overall health so i'm trying i used to have more kombucha but it's just a lot of liquids to drink and i really do notice that i get really full when i drink a lot of liquids especially with the amount of water that i have so but yeah, I'm gonna have some kombucha. Yes, this is my second mask of the night. I did the Benonite one, which is to like clarify, really clean your pores, really help get rid of all that gook out of your skin. And I like doing after those masks, like a sheet mask to really add hydration back. And I'll put whatever like of the excess serum onto my decolletage, my decollete. Um, but yeah, I took a shower, I'm all moisturized. But that is it for this weekly vlog. And yes, I am ending it in a face mask because why not? I'm ending it calm, soothed. I, I'm doing skincare, I'm taking care of myself, you know. <sighs> all the good things and i have to leave this on for 30 minutes this is by when in case you're wondering the brand of this mask i got it at costco a while back for a really good price and i haven't seen it at costco since so maybe my costco just doesn't carry it or i need to go on that other a different costco to get more of it because i'm on my last three masks and i bought two packs and I want more girl I want more because these are my favorite masks like they go on really like nice and smooth I need to stop touching it to be honest but yeah this is how I'm ending the video and if you've made it to the end of this video thank you so much for sticking with me to the end and seeing me go from 229 this week to 224 today I've shown you everything that I've eaten I honestly was so full from Popeyes that was like it was a lot I felt so full um but yeah if you haven't already please do give this video a thumbs up if you like any part of this video subscribe so you can keep up to date with me and all things that I am doing and comment down below say hi I say hi back and don't forget to stay kind stay true and stay laughing and I will see you guys in the next one Bye.